going and we'll see we'll see that tide that they're bringing clash against blacklist international now blacklist they're they're trying to fight back you see what they're doing here a little bit of a play flickering and implosion Ooh. coming in not having to utilize that heavy spin just yet but fire Flock's fighting back oheb taking the turret we do see oh, you cool. able to secure <laughs> the kill on the Nana. alien i'm telling you she just brings that damage for barbie yeah, yeah, the damage is there. Oheb is 201. It means he he have he have a lot of gold here, and uh, the damage was there. But uh, like Lunox could could actually use uh, the brilliance prematurely when he saw when she saw the uh, Tigreal going in. I mean, kind of predictable. So maybe they are. I mean, Fireflux already like chilling. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. I mean, they're definitely feeling it out. I, I feel like Blacklist International kind of needs to catch Rosa off guard. Uh, but again, if Rosa doesn't make any mistakes, then that could be that could be tough for Blacklist International. Uh, we're going to be probably seeing a little bit of a Lord dance here. Heavy spins still available. Pretty much everything on both teams besides Haji's flicker is down. And you can kind of see the placement of him. He's in that back line waiting for something to come out. I mean, he has his implosion ready, but Apex finds him out. Haji now being displaced all alone on the right side. Lord is reset, though. Yeah, the Lord Dance is continuing. Top lane is being pushed by the Blacklist minions. Yeah, I want to say, ooh, a little bit of a final slash and a heavy spin on the Apex. Ooh, the ult is wasted on the Claude prematurely. Yeah. And the Flicker, uh. Flicker and the passive jump just jumped out. Trying was trying to finish the uh, Ruby here and might might open the window for the. Uh, Lord here for fire flags, but it's too early to make a call and the ultimate is going in they going oh. in from the Lord first but, what? The, but, the, <laughs> but the Retribution of the Akai jumped in and still the Lord two people down three people down from fire flags impunity and the counter attack from the fire flags carry going in But the tanky build is not doing enough much, but it's going to be enough Sunshine. But the move, Movement speed is insane. They gonna finish him off. Maybe no ultimate on Nana though. Nobody is oh. going to counter but the low low damage so low tanky build but uh, yeah finish off the outlet but the aurora is dead I... on the other hand i don't know is it was it worth it it was crazy i mean we can kind of look at this haji trying to utilize the implosion before he l dies but sunshine not letting up on the pressure as edward utilizes that final slash cut but right here swoops both of them in able to secure the kill on the rosa was huge for blacklist international in that team fight Th they made it out on top right mm -hmm. they got the lord both teams lost four players but again I, I, it, they were able to secure the Lord, so that was the, the breathing room that Blacklist needed. Yeah, that's for sure. And Mega Minions is still in the mid lane. You can kind of try to work on them, but uh, no risks here taken from the Blacklist. Just safely go back, even though Mega Minions, you can try to push something. Not risking anything, just uh, farm a little bit uh, this uh, 2.5 uh, 2 gold gap, trying to close it and... Uh, Eventually, might to go to the turret here. Heavy spinner going on to the Barazzo, who could use his own ultimate on the uh, opposite team, but didn't result him surviving. It is true now. I mean, we are seeing that heavy pressure being put down onto the map now on Fireflux. Fireflux a little bit onto the back line. Sensu 
a little overextended but no problem just getting that vision to final slash on the apex blacklist international not opting to go for that take yet and we're utilizing that final slash it does have a pretty fast cooldown so i get it but i think blast blacklist could have got a little aggressive there yeah i think so but they don't want to make any mistakes i guess and uh, just mm -hmm. casually waiting for the lord and uh, securing their uh map control i i think and trying to catch some uh kills i think with the aurora or uh, ruby yeah coming into this mid game my suspect is that blacklist is now kind of countering a lot of that magic damage but sunshine left all alone retry does come out onto him but apex able to slow him down sunshine all alone uh, blacklist international wants to take Draw. him down you able to secure that unstoppable and take out sunshine on fire flux oh yeah that's huge that's huge and i have the question i had this question earlier but didn't ask him is it me or or like tanky build on carry it seems like bad like yeah it, i mean it was it's... definitely running into a little bit of a problem he's i i think it's, com it's coming down to the sunshine's being majorly aggressive see some of these takes trying to make those risky yeah, but... plays against blacklist I, I, it, for me, from my perspective, it seems like he has yeah. no damage, but he's not tanky. <laughs> so yeah, I don't true. understand the purpose of this build. Like, you have no damage and you're not that tanky. I mean, you ran fast. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. But but what? You, you gotta have the damage. I mean, he, he would probably, in that exchange of when he died, uh, he would probably kill Tigril and die if he would use damage build. But he, now he, he, like, he didn't kill him and die, so I, I don't understand. Ooh, I like the play there by Sensu. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, he utilized that retreat to zone out Rosa, keeping them at bay, does reset him back. They're trying to utilize this Lord to crack into Fire Flux's base. Still clearing up uh, the tier two turret there. The Lord is now coming in. It is an enhanced Lord, so it's going to crash into that tower. What is Blacklist going to do? They're kind of playing a little bit passive. Mm -hmm. Maybe opting to go for Rosa. <laughs> yeah, the yeah, there carry. it is. The heavy spin coming in, looking for Rosa. Nothing, though. A Daytona's welcome Ooh. onto you. The passive proc. Is he going to be able to escape the flicker out? <laughs> <laughs> wow 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 such a good initiation but such a good like defense uh, play here and uh, I, I I was just thinking about like how blacklist went for the kind of this part from the middle and the top tower and then like all all of them realized oh man we should push bot and they like <laughs> went for bot like guys you got to understand this like 10 seconds earlier why yeah so so I'm, I, was, I'm, I was about to I'm say surprised. that. I'm surprised seeing these kind of mistakes from the uh, top teams. I'm really yeah. surprised. The, the moment you pointed out that bottom lane, I was like, my God, they probably should have done it. That moment you said, but is it enough fire flux putting on that aggression? Able to set down and possibly take down Edward. We do see Rosa on the, the hunt, limits. trying to take out Sinsu and Oheb, putting them at bay. Haji, a little bit displaced on the right side of the map. Blacklist International scattered while Fireflux now has the proper the proper time to be able to take this Lord. Look at this fight here. Yeah, look at this Lunox. Like, insanely good assassination on the uh, Nana here, which no passive because of the last uh, time. And double immortality proc One of them killed second time, and that's gonna secure the Lord for Fireflux, as I think think and uh is it it is i'm, I'm pretty sure yeah yeah maybe yeah. i'm not quite i can't really yeah tell. yeah yeah, yeah. we were, is, we were at the highlights it is okay there we go maybe maybe somehow blacklist just gets the lord yeah i thought it was to grill to grill with the flicker and i don't know <laughs> uh, yeah so fire flux is... now definitely has the lord barreling down Onto the right side, you can kind of see they're playing passive. I liked all lanes are synced. Blacklist International gonna have to mount up a great defense here. Alien for looking for a little bit of a cheeky play. Lord crashing down, all towers being pressured. 
Fire Flux, what are you gonna do here? I am offended on a Sensu. None yet. A final slash and an implosion on four, five of Fire Flux with a blazing duet into the back line of Fire Flux. Fire Flux now on the retreat as Blacklist Internet applying heavy pressure three have fallen four have fallen Ooh. it's all up to sunshine at this point what a play is. by blacklist international giving it up to haji that implosion was nasty oh. securing four deaths on a fire flux sunshine left all alone the molina blitz to be able to secure oh, the kill man. you blacklist international going to push in this final tower and it looks like they're gonna win the game here war barbie oh man that's insanely huge like but I, wow. just, just just the second just the second i wait I, I i just i just thought like what are you waiting guys like i mean <laughs> i mean pressure the enemy attack somehow like at least some damage and uh, and then they didn't and they immediately get a huge counter Nice. forced to use that flicker uh, but back to what I was saying I believe that the Liam Ward is gonna have quite the trouble unless he's mm -hmm, gonna mm -hmm. like that Ruby was nasty he didn't have a chance paired with the Molina uh oh Phantom Steeds coming out onto Haji uh -huh. not able to escape as Tinsy able to secure that kill there yeah at this Wild. point he just need needs gold so he ulted just for gold and uh yeah, not, not being able to do something extra with his ultimate, but the gold is fine for this point because he really, really need that farm. You With this kind of hero, you really want to, like, first two ultimates kind of successfully kill one, two people and objective, and you're good, and you're gonna get in the position when you are, like, almost one shot in everything. But now what? Uh, he's going to follow the implosion probably and uh, trying to shave off this gold and the oh. second skill plus flicker on top of that trying to go on the Nana here proking some passive second skill of Brass good uh, dragging two people back and the... Ooh, yes, this is finish of this nasty finish, but the counter-attack uh. of the uh, Barats uh, on top of that, this is like back and forth, and the ultimate on Leo Mort again had a cooldown, uh, being able to use it, and uh, I don't know, can you call this a win for Fireflux, or is it even? I, I mean, we see that Blacklist International able to take all of that gold plating and a tower down on the EXP. I do think that the aggression by Alien was a little bit too much. You know, utilizing that last insanity and that flicker to dive in and secured the kill onto you. But again, not really causing a shutdown, not really getting too much out of it, losing your lane. Ah, you know, Fireflux the aggression again i said that they wanted to be aggressive but look at this i'm fitted onto a from uh, uh, onto apex from uh, edward there and we see a little bit of a play here today fireflux now down one person for this turtle take i don't think they're gonna have what it what it needs to take this turtle yeah and the turtle is going for the oh blacklist yet again and uh, almost 2k gold advantage already and here Liam are trying to snipe someone but he actually uses his ultimate to just run back i guess and take and enjoying this uh, river minion only and uh, that's not what you want to get from the Liam Ort ultimates yeah I mean, and i mean he 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 could have been in, in a stickier situation as blacklist international utilized the river to sprint all the way down oheb able to take the tower though against sunshine uh we do see a detainer's welcome on to alien alien's shield procked a retry comes out does look like sensu wants to ah uh, but he didn't commit again i like it i mean don't be too aggressive fireflux shown that aggression the economic lead is definitely in blacklist's favor yeah that is for sure and uh, kind of blacklist looking like uh looking strong in the game number two but uh, maybe it's going to be something like mirror situation from the previous game when uh, tigril is going to five people implosion and just sneak up all the game we're gonna know soon True, true. I mean, we did see a great implosion by Apex. I think with what Fireflux really needs to watch out for is Edward. Edward is too 
0 and 1 and he's just he has so much control over a lot of those uh, team fights again you don't want to allow him to do too much into that now we do have 24 seconds onto the next turtle we do see blacklist looking for a little bit of a play but fireflux kind of setting up maybe something a little strategic here yeah but it seems like uh, this is kind of like a plateau situation and uh uh, forced to use his ultimate Xborg just to run away. I mean, it was felt like a little bit prematurely. He could try to just just go, but uh, it shows that Fireflux are starting to play like super safe, and uh, mm -hmm. it's bad sign in terms of confidence. Yeah, but look, and I'm offended. Able to secure a kill. You able to take out Apex. Blacklist International looking to take more here. Turtle is low, Edward being spicy in the TPs on a TNZ, keeping him zoned out of the turtle zone. Blacklist International feeling comfortable. Yeah, no turrets, almost no turrets uh, get from Blacklist didn't lost. And uh, mid lane is being pushed like everything, every, everyone just farming in my opinion. Like 4k gold advantage, but it, it, it's... Not a, not, not a lot of pressure from the blacklist. This is kind of like classic blacklist gameplay. Slow, steady, and just go at some moments. Like, Tigreal went in, didn't quite uh, manage to do something and just died. Like, four people explosion? No, three people explosion. That's huge, but not enough damage. Rafaela easily, easily out heals this amount of damage with the Flask of Oasis probably being built uh, first item. And, uh, yeah, this is yeah, going I mean, to be hard for Firefly. You can see Apex coming in there, utilizing the explosion, but no follow-up by the side of Fireflux and Punity, or Fireflux Esports here. Last Insanity comes out, but like you were saying, just Haji's just sustainability was just too much for uh, Fireflux at this point. Yeah, and uh, the Blacklist seems like they find their rhythm, what they was looking for game number one, and game number two looks like more uh, in oh. terms of Oh, yeah, again, he tried to went for the positioning, the grill tried to went for the positioning and uh, gets picked off right away. They don't let this Tigreal to shine. Yeah, I mean, Blacklist International definitely on the snowball here, but let's not fire, let's not count Fireflux out just yet. As we've seen mm -hmm. in prior games, all it takes is one play. I do think that Apex is struggling on this TIG. We can already see it's zero, four, and one. I think Apex really has to, to wait for his team for a follow-up. Not quite sure where the miscommunication is coming. We've just seen so many implosions come out and nothing nothing for it. But we do see a little bit of a conceal play. This is what I was saying. They're going to count on taking down Haji. We do see the Divine Judgment coming out there, though. Tenzi trying to put on a lot of pressure. Can they take him down as the mini Melina's Blitz does come in? TNZ low. We do see the implosion coming in, but it's not enough as Oheb was able to secure the kill. The last insanity comes out. Use passive proct. Fireflux looking for the plays, but Oheb coming in from the left flank, able to take out Rosa. Look at the damage as Sunset oh, trying to get out of there, but a maniac ball. secured by Oheb. Alien, one HP. They are on on the hunt can he escape it's all up to him but the look we can see a little bit of the replay here the last insanity coming in able to secure the kill onto you but again we kind of see down here at the lane i don't know if blacklist international has enough time to be able to just take the turret but again they're able to secure the lord they won that team fight there and fireflux they I think they just overextended. Blacklist International was backing up and the response by the team was just too much. Oheb, an absolute monster right now. And now they're gonna try to finish uh, the game, but the implosion finally work on the Rubians. Might be the sign of the defense, but the Barats is not 
thinking that way, pushing tier 3 turret with his team, Oof. four people left, but it doesn't mean the attack is stopped. The one-to-one -one, uh, on the kills score and the extra, extra big wave of minions going into the mid lane or have trying to work on the crystal and the Barats is good initiation, the counter attack by the Leomor trying to zone out all of the team and uh, oh do it successfully, gosh. but the crits, but the GGs. damage, the damage is insane. Oh 10k my gold advantage, 10k gold advantage is there. Is not They're just going for kills at this point. They don't even care. Oheb, unstoppable. Blacklist International looking to end it here, but they're just holding out to stack the kills up onto Fire Flux. Blacklist International taking.